from this heat. Hilberst almost jumped the start there. Now then, two barrels, and then the anvil. But actually, you can do it any order you wish. Ooh, Melstead. He gives up about five or six inches to Oberst in height, and I tell you what, it's not easy to get him up onto this platform. It's a very high platform. Even Oberst is lifting it high here. You'll see as he comes in. Melstead very easy with the anvil, though. He's catching. On to the next barrel. Barrels must be placed upright. And hands off. No, it's not so much the weight of these, Danny, it's just the sheer awkward size of them. Oberst pops it up, it has to be placed upright. Kavaki jogs, all 400 pounds of him. Well, Oberst refers to himself as the pretty boy. You can see why. On to the very awkward frame carry. Melstead struggling with his belt there. Wide stance there from Oberst, gets it up and going. And tell you what, it's the grip that's the weak link here, Danny. 825 pounds is a serious weight. And once you've dropped it, very hard to pick it up again as Oberst manages it. Yeah, really easy to start pulling skin off your, the palms of your hands as well as your grip starts to fatigue. And no, not even off the ground from Melstead. That shows you how difficult it is. Maybe how hot it is as well. But Oberst. What has he got? It's not even nine in the morning here. Already almost a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it Seriously up. hot. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Eleven meters. And not even nine o'clock. Maybe he just needed a coffee. Melstead beaten by the frame carry. But managed three objects. Thirty-nine point eight one. Wow! Couldn't even deadlift it off the ground. Gosh, this is really worthy of the final this way. <laughs> it's just the start of the heats. Representing Russia, Mikhail Shivlyakov. To Shivlyakov, just one of the toughest strong men that there is. Representing Great Britain, Luke Richardson. And the Brits, Luke Richardson. Must be a little reticent going up against a legend like Shivlyakov. Get set. Yes, he, he did win Europe's strongest man, Richardson, but. In terms of experience, the strong man, it's not great. Well, look at his speed of Richardson there. <laughs> that was immense. Oh, no! Shevlyakov just basically missed the platform there. They really are high. You've got to launch this barrel up. Oh, Richardson using his speed and his technique. And even Shevlyakov in his wake. Oh, he's got this one a little bit low. There we go. Now he's got the right height just about. Oh, slips! Oh! oh, that's not good. Oh, what's happened here? Yeah, it might be a, a, a damaged bicep. It's very easy just to pull a few fibers in your bicep if you're not careful. Shevlyakov, the, the, the tortoise, going ahead seconds. of the hair here. Slow and steady. Gosh, I hope uh, Richardson, if he's wandered off, it must be pretty bad. He's not continuing. He threw his hat down, didn't he? And the, the strength of that man still being heard that echo around the world oh, right then let's see what he can do against Oberst who managed 11 meters with this Look how wide your arms are it's something just to, to realize he's best part of what six foot two he's very broad shouldered and even his arms are out wide horrible place to have to carry it 2.7 meters is it enough he's still looking for his Second world's Richardson strongest man everybody. final and Richardson just it? looks devastating. I think we've had a, more than just a, a few muscle fibers. I think we might have popped a tendon there, which is uh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably where he did it. When you're really extending and then it gets pulled away from you, it doesn't take much for it to, uh, to actually cause damage. Well, Richardson withdraws. Not a happy face, I'm afraid. Representing Canada, JF So on Caron. his own, JF Caron. Now how will that affect him, Colin? Oh, I mean, get dare get I say it, he's so experienced. I, I don't think he'll be uh, too upset for Luke. He's had, probably had both of his biceps off in his time. Uh, all he'll be thinking is, there goes one, one of the world's strongest man finalists from last year in my group. Even easier chance to get through now. So, uh, I hate to say it, but that's probably what I'd be thinking anyway. He's a very, uh, he's a very sensible competitor, isn't he? Quiet, mild-mannered, just gets the job done. Yeah, there's, there's something about him that's uh, 
he's an incredibly pleasant guy. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen him ever make a complaint to any referee, <laughs> any hotel, anything ever, <laughs> ever. He's just, uh, he's just so e easygoing, as how I'd say it. And, uh, well, there you go. Number three goes up. Now, Oberst was about a minute and eight seconds. when he picked up the, the frame. So he's well ahead of Oberst. And some long overdue recognition, of course, Caron, after his first Very World's Strongest Man podium last year. That's, that's a massive point. I mean, this guy is a sort of, you know, Hall of Famer for nearly at the podium. You know, he's just grinding away with fifth places and then fourth place and then third place finally and uh, gosh i remember him talking about retiring from world's strongest man back in 2013 so <laughs> that's how long he's been around he's still got a lot to give but has he in the frame carry look at this not bad that's the halfway line going for oh the whistle gets him he could have made it couldn't he if it was a minute and 35 or 33, he'd have been there, I think. Oh, he's just short of Oberst. 10 metres 55 for Jeff Karam. He's a hard man. He's got a great grip. I'm surprised he didn't do that in one hit, I really am.